we're now working on layout number 21 in our family album Cricut Cartridge and since today is Super Bowl Sunday I had to do a football layout. That's what that looks like. All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer you want to go to cricut.com slash design. You will see this screen upper left hand corner where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box that verifies that you were logged in. You want to come down here and click on where it says create new project. Left hand side toolbar, click on insert images. We're going to change this from all images to cartridges. In the search box, type in the word family. This will bring up family album. Click on view all images. I'm going to go to the right hand side below the funnel and click on the four squares to make the images larger. And then scroll down and find the football layout. It is right there. We're going to click on that. Bottom right, click on insert images. Left hand side toolbar, click on set canvas. In the search box, type in the word basic. This will bring up basic shapes. Go ahead and click on those. On the right hand side, click on canvas. And here you're able to make your canvas color be whatever color card stock you are using. In my case, I'm using a dark blue one. I come down, bring my layout to the upper left hand corner of the canvas piece, and then drag this down. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to right click on the layout, ungroup it, and then bring these pieces over here. I'm going to move this out of my way. My mouse across both of those, go to the top toolbar, click align, click center, and then right click and choose group. Do the same for the ticket piece. Line those guys up. Right click and choose group. I do this so I'm able to move the pieces around. I don't need, I don't need to keep on putting them back together. All right, top toolbar align, click on center, right click and choose group. I'm going to grab the football, the field goal post. Let's grab the football piece here and that piece. Top twelve bar, click align, center, and group. I'm going to bring this up and do the same for this piece right here. Take my mouse across that one, right click on that, and choose group. Now, the photos, I do want to resize these photo mats. If I go back to the right hand side and click on edit, You'll see here the size is 5.12 by 7.41. I just can't make that be a four and a quarter by six and a quarter because it's on an angle and the angle is going long way. So I'm actually going to remove these two pieces here. I'm going to grab the regular square, right click on that one and choose copy. Right click again and choose paste. I'll do that again. So I'll have three pieces of those. Okay, now I can click on this one, go to my edit panel to resize it. And the width I want to make this one be 4.25. And then I'm going to unlock that. And the height will be 6.25. I'm going to do the same for this piece. Unlock the lock. Make the width be 4.25. And the height is going to be 6.25. And then while we're here, I'm going to resize this one as well. I'm going to unlock the lock. And I made this one be 3.25 by... 4.25. All right, now what I want to do is bring all my pieces back over here. So I'm going to take all these off, bring the field goal post back, bring this piece over here. Now all my photo mats, I want them all to be red. So I'm going to go to my layers panel and find them here and make each one of these be red just so I can see what they look like. Grab this one as well, make that be red. Okay, so now this one, I'm going to rotate it this way. I'm going to bring this piece down. Okay, and then this one, I'm going to rotate this way, like that. I'm going to bring this piece down a little lower. This will come down. All right, and the word football, I do want to make that be a little bit larger. So I have that piece selected. I'm going to go to my edit panel, leaving the lock locked. I'm making the width be eight inches. That way it's a little bit larger than what it is there. 
All right, then we have our ticket pieces. We can bring that back over. I'm going to right click on this one and choose move to front. Let's grab the football. Right click on that one, choose move to front. Now I'm going to go to my layers tab and change the colors. I want the football to be brown. So I have the football selected. Right now I'm going to click on that and make it be brown. The back piece I'll make white. And now we have the ticket pieces. I'm making the yellow part be the same color brown as the football. Grab this one as well. All right, now we have the word football and the number. So I'm going to click on this one. I do want the outer piece to be green, but I want the text on top of that to be white. So I'm going to click on that and make it be white. This one I want to be opposite. I want the green part to be white and the white part here to be green. So I'm going to click on the green layer. Make that be white. Click on, oops, undo. I changed the football. Click on this piece there. All right, so the green layer here, I want to make that be white. And the white layer, make that be green. Now I get on my sync panel and just sync those two greens together so they're the same. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to remove my pieces here, my photo mats. Again, I need two of those that are four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And one here that is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Top toolbar, click on go. All right, so we need a piece here, and that requires a 12 inch piece of paper there, our brown, our gray, our yellow, and then that piece. I'm actually going to go back and make that yellow piece here, maybe be the same color green. All right, let's go ahead, top toolbar, click on go. Right, I'm going to go ahead and cut all these out with the table and put our layout together. All right, we have everything cut out. I'm going to set that aside and work on the title first. All right, I'm using Art Glitter Glue from MamieMadeIt.com. I love this kind of title. It's very similar to the one that we did not too long ago. The uh, puzzle layout looks just like this one. Just kind of putting glue here and there. So I am watching the Super Bowl, and right now it is um, 7:21, and it's the end of the first quarter, and no team scored so far. All right, I got glue there. We're gonna flip that over. All right, so that's gonna go there. Then we have the uh, field goal, field goal thing. That's going to go somewhere around here, and I have that little green piece that goes on top of that. I tried using colors that represented both teams. So I have blue and red and green because it's football. All right, let's go ahead and do the bottom piece here. I'm just kind of placing glue here and there just to hold this piece down. You don't need to glue every little spot. I'm gonna bring that off to the side. I don't want to get glue on this one. So we have the main part done. That's going to go down here toward the bottom. That's going to go there. Now I got to play around with the photos. I'm first going to glue all these other pieces in. So we have the football. Okay. We have the tickets and then these pieces that go to them. more glue right there. Okay, that one is done. And now I need to do this guy. I'm using textured paper, so I want to make sure the textured side's up. Okay. Yeah, but I got glue on it anyway.
Okay, now we need the little inside pieces to go on that. And I think this is where I'll just write Super Bowl 51 and the date inside the ticket. Okay, I think I need more glue. Nope, I think we're good. I'm going to flip it over and just kind of give it a little bit of a rub there. All right, let's grab the other ticket. Move that ticket across the table. All right, get that guy in there. Kind of centered. I'm going to, again, go off to the side and give it a little bit of a rub. All right. So I'm going to write in these guys. I already did my journaling. Um, I just wrote Super Bowl 51, Patriots versus Falcons, final score. And, of course, I'll add that in when that is done. So here I'm going to write... Um, I'm going to write inside these tickets. Let me see. Super Bowl. Yeah, we're going to do it again. Super Bowl 51. And the date today is February 5, 2017. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to flip these guys over and put dimensionals on the back of them. And do three. I'm also going to pop up this part and this part. So we're going to probably going to use this whole sheet of dimensionals here. Okay. I can't lay them down yet until I get my photos on. All right. So we're just going to flip them over and give all of them a squish easy way, kind of squishing them all at the same time. All right, I'm going to set all this aside because all that gets added later. I have my mats here, my two red, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. This one is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. I can go ahead and glue my journaling down. Like I said, once the game is over, I'll come in here and add the final score for that. All right, now the photos. I just took a photo off the TV of um, each team's quarterback. This is uh, Tom Brady. Now, no, I'm not really rooting for a certain team. You know, if I if I was, I'd be, of course want Green Bay or um, the Packers there, but or not Green Bay or Pittsburgh, but. They didn't do well enough this year. They were close. And this is the other team. I forget his name. Uh, Ryan. Matt Ryan, maybe? I'm not very good at their names. All right. So the football is going to go up there. And then this is going to go down here. Now, I want to make sure you can see this um, goalie thing, this little goal thing. And that's going to kind of get cut off like that. That's going to go there. I might need to glue this down now. It's going to do that. Okay, take all this off, the backings of these guys off. Yeah, because it's right now it's 727. And um, once I'm done this, I'll upload it to um, YouTube. Like I said, my internet is going so, not the internet, just the YouTube part is going so slow. And we have Comcast. And I called and complained, and they're like, oh, you need to do this and that and the other. And, of course, I did this, that, and the other. And it's still an issue with that. Um, so I'm getting ready to cancel Comcast, and we're going to go with AT&T. I had AT&T before. Um, or actually, we did. We had AT&T U-verse with AT&T Internet, and I loved it. And then AT&T merged with... Um, DirecTV, I'm like, well, I didn't sign up for AT&T and DirecTV. I signed up for AT&T. So they let me cancel my contract without having a penalty because I was right and they were wrong. <laughs> um, no, I like that. So then I w we went to um, Comcast. And Comcast, we don't have a contract with. We just have like a two-year agreement with Price. And it's crazy what you pay for a TV. It's just ridiculous. Um, I think we're paying like, I don't know, 180 it's just ridiculous. All right. 
And they are going to go here, the tickets, kind of cattywampus, and then the football will go there. What do y'all think? All right, I'm going to first glue this down. So anyway, back to AT&T. Um, I called them, um, and I said I'm interested in getting AT&T because I can't, you know, we can't afford Comcast because, you know, you pay out the wazoo with them, you know. And um, I said I don't, I don't want Dish or DirecTV. I want AT&T. If you guys can give me AT&T Universe, I'll keep it. So we're all signed up. So we have them coming out this um, Saturday, the 11th. I think I think that's when they're coming out. Alrighty, Tom, you're gonna go right here. So hopefully um, the internet will go fast. Like I said, it's only the YouTube. I don't know what is going on with it, but. You know, I can go on the internet and check my email and whatnot and go on Facebook and it's not slow. You get me on YouTube uploading a video and it takes almost two hours to upload a video, which is Ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to put you down a little bit so I can see the rest of that field goal. I don't mind them sitting on top of here. I might need to put a dimensional behind that, though. Let me go ahead and pop one in. Sneak one in there real quick. Okay, just so you kind of sits on there. Oops. Come up there, Mr. Ryan. I'm going to glue this in. Man, I meant to do that first, right? Remember I said that I need to glue this thing first. Y'all didn't remind me. All right, that's going to go here. All right, now do I want him that low? I might want him up higher. No, come on. Oh, yeah, it's on the photo. Okay, you're going to stay there, buddy. Sorry. All right, let's grab our football right here. Put some things on that one. I have one here and... Alrighty, I'm going to do four. Four on a football, that's crazy. All right. Yeah, before I lay that down for good, I want to make sure I like where that's, so I'm just going to kind of sit it there. I want to make sure, I don't want the tickets going the same way. I want them kind of scattered, kind of a bit, so I might, yep. I'm going to take the dimensionals off of this. I want this one laying flat. Okay, so it's going to kind of hide the date, kind of like that. And this one will go up higher. Okay, that'll work. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right there because it's going to sit on that number right here. Okay. Now, do I put the football here? Come on, I'm going to push you down, football. Oh, now i got to put it there because now i got drunk on my thing. All right, football has to go there. I was going to put it up here to kind of counterbalance the brown. Oh. All right, they're gonna go there now. Let me see if I can rub that off with my shirt. Let's see. Yeah, not so much. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. His shirt looks like he has a scuffy mark on it. All right, now I gotta think. Do I want the football up here? What do y'all think? Up there to bring the brown across, or down here? Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking up here because this is offset so there's like nothing over there. Oh, decisions. Don't you hate that when you can't make up your mind? I wish I had two footballs. I can always cut another football out, but then that would give me four brown elements. I don't want the, I like, like I said before, I like working an odd number, so we're just going to go right there. Hmm. Yep. Okay. We committed. I stuck it down. I'm not coming back up. All right, guys. So there you have it. Layout number. What is this? Twenty-one. I guess it'll add the score there when the game is over. 
But um, anyway guys, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching and chatting with me today. Um, any questions, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's me, Stace. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I certainly do appreciate it. I also hope that you guys like the video. If you did like the video, please give me a thumbs up so I know that you guys like these kind of videos. Also, if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel and just so you'll get notified whenever I do a new video. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.